Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Muna Shibal and I'm a manifestation and soul realignment coach. My channel is geared towards helping you become your highest potential so that you can create and live the extraordinary life that is your birthright. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about why you don't need to be impressing your subconscious mind for every single desire. But before we get started, just a quick reminder that I offer both email and video coaching. If you need help in manifesting your desires, I am here to help you. You can find all the information in the description below. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon in order to receive a notification anytime I upload a new video. So let's get started. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I always say whatever is in your subconscious mind has to manifest. But this does not mean that every desire needs to be impressed into your subconscious mind. And this is where sometimes people get hung up on how they manifested something. They say, well, I didn't impress it into my subconscious mind. I didn't have to affirm for it. It's not a dominant thought in my subconscious mind. So how did I manifest it? And of course, yes, I understand why some people get confused about this. That's why I wanted to explain this in this video. Now, of course, you have manifested numerous things without actually affirming. I'm sure if you've been on this journey of manifesting for a while, you notice that sometimes you think something and then it manifests. So to understand how this is happening, I want you first to think about it this way. A desire is a thought and your thoughts manifest. So a desire is a thought of something wanted and all your thoughts have to manifest provided, provided there is nothing opposing or a dominant opposing assumption or belief within your subconscious mind that will not allow that to manifest. And so this is where if you have a thought about something or a desire for something where you don't have a dominant story going on within you at subconscious level, then it can manifest, right? It can happen pretty fast. And that's why you tend to find yourself struggling more for what we see as bigger things because they, you have a story going on subconsciously around those things. And then that is why you must then affirm and impress that. But technically, there's no impressing needed when you do not have an opposing dominant story going on subconsciously. That is why actually manifesting can be super easy when it's something that you are not that invested in because you don't have a subconscious dominant story going on within you around that topic. So when you find yourself looking at things you've manifested and say, well, I haven't really impressed that into my subconscious mind, or I don't have a dominant subconscious story in relation to that. So how did it manifest? That's your answer is what's important is, is there an opposing dominant story going on subconsciously in relation to that desire? Ultimately, all your desires, all your thoughts have to manifest so long as there's no opposing assumption going on and your desires are thoughts. They're thoughts of things wanted and then they have to manifest. That's how it is. That's how it works. Now, of course, you're now thinking, well, what if I think something negative? Is that going to easily manifest if I don't have anything opposing it? Here, I want you to not be fearful because if you have a dominant assumption within you that things always work out for you and there's general well-being in your life and all is well and if that's your dominant assumption then even if you have a negative thought that will not manifest it works both ways and opposing positive subconscious assumptions will help a negative thought from manifesting so it works both ways this is just a reminder to you that not every single thing needs to be impressed into your subconscious mind. It needs to be impressed when you have an opposing dominant story going on within you. So that's the whole point of this video. It's just a reminder that everything you want can manifest. You can manifest it either immediately if you don't have a subconscious opposing story going on or 
if you do have a subconscious opposing story going on, then then you have to affirm and impress that new story into your subconscious mind so that you do not oppose that desire. Remember, your subconscious mind is always much more powerful. But when you don't have a story period around something, you will manifest it very fast. I hope this video helps. Just a quick reminder about this topic and how manifesting is actually working. If you like this video, then please hit the thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video.